Hey everybody, it's Jamie here. Welcome to Travel Blog Jamie. Now this weekend, we have come to Chessington World of Adventures. If you're not a UK resident, well, this is one of our more family-friendly theme parks, not too far from London. So we are staying at the Safari Hotel tonight. We've got tickets for two days into the park and world exclusive. We're also here for the opening of a new land, uh, the first ever Jumanji land in the whole world in any theme park. All right, here we go. Early entry into the park and opening day for the brand new Land of Jumanji. Coming up in today's exclusive vlog, we experience the grand opening of the world of Jumanji at Chessington World of Adventures. UK's newest coaster, Mandrill Mayhem, two new flat rides, plus food and beverage options. But before all that, please do give this video a cheeky little like, subscribe and turn on notifications for my bi-weekly travel and cruise vlogs. And now, the grand opening of the world of Jumanji. Excited. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome everyone to a very exciting day, the opening day of world of Jumanji. Woo. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's do this! So Vampire is officially off the early entry list for hotel guests, replaced by Mandrill Mayhem. Thank you, Chessington. Hey, hey, hey! Looking good! the right exit and of course it wouldn't be a right exit without a shop so i've been on mandrel mayhem three times in our early access uh different seats each time which was great experience every ride therefore felt very different depending on whether you were near the front uh the middle or the back and also the side you're on as well is it the most thrilling coaster i've ever ridden or the most thrilling wing coaster around the world no but it definitely has some very unique elements. The launches, uh, going backwards, the shuttle sensation, uh, heading towards the end of the track. Loved all of that. Um, definitely one of the best coasters in Chessington. Uh, so definitely recommend it. I am gonna go one more time. I've got one more minute of early ride access. Might as well make the most of it. Awesome. I didn't realize because uh, I was on the very last train um, for hotel guests and so they've had another official opening to the general public so uh, our train was held a little bit until they did the official opening ceremony with the fireworks 
uh, all the smoke and so on that you saw earlier. So we were passing over the top of the big crowd uh, when the fireworks went off and so on. It was so cool. Now that was a moment. Very pleased about that. Yes, thank you. Jesus. But be prepared for potentially very long waits. Uh, it's only dispatched five times in the whole hour. Anyway, a very good solid addition to the park. Oh yeah, hit them boys. And now open to the general public. Sorry folks, I've done it three times already this morning. That's one massive benefit of staying in a hotel with this new land opening. Unless you are a hotel guest enjoying early access to the park and Mandrill Mayhem, you're going to need to join a virtual queue. You can do that via the app or the website. Make sure you don't miss out. This is what the app looks like and all the information about Mandrill Mayhem. Whilst the ride is pretty much family friendly, do check out the ride restrictions in advance. If you're not staying on site at a Chessington hotel and therefore you don't have early access to the park and indeed the world of Jumanji and its rides, here's all the information you need to know about securing your ride by accessing the virtual line. This is the brand new Mamba Strike. Look out for the snake. Oh, there it is. Hi. I mean, I think that's fair enough, isn't it? If you're going to stand under a moving vehicle, you're going to get damaged. Whoops. So I can't start the ride because they can't get out of the gate. We got some teething issues, as you would expect on an opening day. Yeah, I'm going to come back later and show you this. If you're looking to ride Mamba Strike, check out those all important ride restrictions first. And the other new ride here in Jumanji is Ostrich Stampede. Check out those restrictions if you're looking to ride Ostrich Stampede. Oh my god, I feel like I'm in Walt Disney World again. Giant turkey leg. Just pretty standard snacks here. Holy shawarma, folks. That's not cheap, is it? In summary, Chessington is really onto a winner with its new world of Jumanji. It's likely to take a little bit of time to manage the operations of the new coaster in particular, but it's a lot of fun and with less stringent height restrictions, it's bound to appeal to families. I'm not such a fan of the two new flat rides in the area. I think they're just a little bit too carnival-esque for my liking. However, again, they seem to go down very well with families. One thing I'd like to see in this new land are improved food and beverage options. Next time on Travel Blog Jamie, an epic vlog of our two days at Chessington featuring all the rides, up close encounters with beautiful wildlife, multiple ride malfunctions and breakdowns quite literally leaving people hanging, food options and the amount of ka you can expect to spend, a really rough ride on Zufari, a detailed tour and review of our accommodation, the hotel grounds, its venues and of course the bar and restaurant what's included at breakfast time, and we relive that special opening day of Jumanji. As always, thank you for watching, and don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube.